Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a very quick video. Today I just wanted to share with you the Rockland 8 dBi antenna install that I just did. I've been working on that for the last three to four hours uh, because I was able to score two of these bad boys yesterday. The minted by uh, Rack Wireless and they will be here tomorrow. So I've had all the materials I need, the antenna, the cables, and everything, but I knew that my miners weren't going to be here until December. Uh, so I've been stalling the uh, install for a little bit, and then I was able to score these, and I'm like, oh my goodness, I have to get this antenna up in the air. So I did today, and I wanted to show you guys that. Don't forget to check out the description, guys. I'm going to leave links to the uh, to Rockland where... I purchased my antennas, my cables, my lightning arresters, and a couple other things. They're very, very good. Good price. They ship for free, guys. So that's uh, that's one of the things I like about them. They ship for free in the United States, and they ship pretty fast, even though it's free. If the item is in stock, you'll, you'll receive it pretty fast. Uh, especially if you live here in Florida like I do because they are out of Gainesville, Florida. So Rockland, I highly recommend them. I'm going to leave a link to their store in the description below as well as links to some of the other items that I used that I think you might be interested in using. So thank you guys very much for your support. Stay tuned. The video is coming right up. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you soon. Hey, everybody. So I wanted to show you the antenna install that I did today. I've been working on it for the last uh, maybe three to four hours for the helium miner that's coming. So that's where the antenna is going. The white cable, that's an LMR 400 as you can see by the uh, thickness compared to the other cables that are around it. And that leads directly to my room, where, which is where I have the uh, the router so and there's the antenna which I'm gonna go up there and show you guys real quick and uh, I'm not 100% done I'm about 95% done I just have to stretch that ground cable and actually there's the rod it's gonna go right there in that corner somewhere Let me get up so it's gonna go in there somewhere, and then I'll I'll stretch that uh, ground cable and make it a little nicer. But there's that one. All right, let's climb here. Hopefully, I don't kill myself live on video here. And uh, there's the the install. Uh, I'm going to leave a link to this particular antenna mount because we have pretty good reviews and uh, I bought it and it's pretty darn sturdy man it's it, it's pretty sturdy for sure and I'll show you some of the things that I use there as well and yeah this is my view here from the top as you can see uh, this is Florida of course so it's pretty flat and there's my antenna and uh, it's pretty damn straight uh, to the best of my ability of course it's pretty straight from this side and look over here guys the antenna still taller than I am and this is the view that I am getting from up here and the antenna still probably about six feet taller than I am yeah, let me show you guys from this angle sure it's not 100% perfect but that's as straight as I can get it uh, by myself and uh, it worked out pretty nicely so 
it's the mount this piece of wood that I had uh, lying around so I'm like you know it'll give me about an extra three feet so why not use it and uh, obviously that's uh, that's a temporary piece there uh, if I don't need it I'll take it off and lower the antenna a couple of feet I don't think it's gonna do much but uh, if I start doing well at that height then I might just replace that piece of wood with a piece of metal about three feet and just replace that piece of wood because it's really easy to do and there's the antenna this is a rock blend 8 dbi this is a 8 dbi antenna that i got from rockland which i will leave a link in the description below as well so again let me let me stand in the tallest this is as high as i can get on my roof the antenna is still about six feet higher than i am and this is my view that tree right there was way bigger and as you can probably tell I've been trimming the crap out of it so once I'm done trimming it there will be no tree left but it's it should be no it, it shouldn't be any any trouble at all because there's not much tree left and those trees over there that's about that's about as uh, as much trees as I'm gonna have around me here and they're pretty far believe it or not but um, yeah that's about it guys and uh, let me get down here real quick you can see the tree that I'm talking about right here and I'm getting rid of it So there will be no tree. All right, this is my yard. And there's an antenna there. There's the antenna. Came out way better than I thought it would. And again, there's the cables, the antenna out there coming straight down right into my master bedroom where I have the router inside my room very handy very very handy this was uh, very handy as well to seal uh, those holes and to put around the, the screws to make sure there's no water coming in this is the ground cable that I got 25 feet 12 AWG solid thin THHN and uh, that's uh, pretty much it as far as that's concerned so um, yeah again guys uh, check out the description I'm gonna leave some links to some of the materials that I use so you can check them out and uh, that's my setup I'll catch you all soon. Happy mining.